Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Combat Mission Africa Corps. Um, yeah, so this battle is going to involve once again Italy and I think I found finally found the battle that is going to be uh, following up on the previous battle although it's not exactly in chronological order but it's based in Italy and it involves some armor battle, combined arms battle and also, I'm going to be playing as a German. That was the condition that I've set. And I have found this to be the one. Plans Hell, or Hell. I think it's Hell, sorry. Yeah. Um, 35 turns, tiny. Uh, so, tiny map 35 turns means that it's going to have a lot of concentrated battle, a lot of fireworks from the get go. 35 turns. Um, well, yeah, I mean, it's kind of substantial for a tiny map. Who knows what's going to happen, maybe it's going to have some overtime, I don't know. But it deals with Custer's Last Stand, as you can see. Um, reminds me of some of the most embattled you know, battles that Americans uh, were involved in. And I think Custer uh, is just a, uh, not, not paraphrasing, it's kind of an allusion to what the Americans will face against the Germans. And I'm going to be playing as the Germans because that's the recommended side to play against the AI. So let's read what this is. Um, plans hell. Okay, I think it's just no plans. Just whatever you, whatever it takes to get to the other side. Uh, type German attack September 1943, and I think this is more uh, September 13th or 14th from what I have read in Wikipedia on the Battle of Salerno. And this is when the Americans and the Allies, I don't know exactly who were involved, but I think it's going to tell you um, in the mission briefing or battle briefing. Mark Clark, General Mark Clark, was attempting to go onto the beach of Salerno. So they were doing some amphibious landings after they had taken care of the Africa Corps in Northern Africa. And they were trying to attack Italy because they thought it was a soft belly of the Right, but the Germans were well prepared, and General Kesselring, the, Germ the German general who was mastermind behind those uh, Gothic, Gothic mine or something, Italy, uh, was prepared to face the Americans and the uh, British on the beaches. They knew that the Americans are coming, they knew exact locations, and they were also prepared to counterattack. And when the Americans landed, um, they actually, I think I covered this. Way back when I was when I was playing Panzer General 2, there was also a mission based on this. Uh, you have to capture like a place called Past Tomb or something, very important and critical objective then. But they knew they were coming, so they had all these uh, recordings that were played on a megaphone that they knew where the Americans were, and if you come out and surrender, they be spared. Of course, the Americans didn't. Can't give up. We have you covered. Come on in and give up. We have you covered. But too bad that Americans wanted to hold the element of surprise and use that to attack the Germans, but they didn't have it. And they also didn't use the naval bombardment or the aerial bombings just to, you know, get the element of surprise. It didn't work. Later, they had to use it extensively to defeat the Germans back from the beaches and you know, prevent being driven into the sea. That's really what could have happened, yeah. So I think this battle covers the latter part of the the battle where the Germans were almost there, driving toward the beaches and they were obviously in other battles prior to this. Other units were suffering some casualties, but they were willing to see to the end of their battles. Um, what it is, um, I think it's based on the book called The Battery Commander, His Batman and a Cook uh, that was published by Battlefront.com which is also the publisher and developer of this game, Human Mission Series. Uh, the Allied landings at Salerno came into deep trouble. To the last man, actions became an accepted tactic trying to stop the German armor from breaking through to the beaches. Yeah, to the last man, I mean, you know, they think they're the Soviets or something, but they were in a really dire situations. I think Mark Clark and his advisors were contemplating 
abandoning the beachhead or retreating back to the ships. But they held on and fought it out. I was able to expand the beachhead, I think, after the Germans had run out, simply ran out of um, men and armament. Anywho, so it recommends I play as the Germans against the AI, which is what I'm going to be doing. And it's, uh, yeah, it's based on the book. Interesting. Um, all right, let's go into it. Playing as Axis this time. And it's a short description to the point, concise. Battalion CP to Panzer Grenadier Regiment. They all like have long words or something. I don't know why, but they don't have any space. They just go right through the words. Panzer Grenadier Regiment 29, Panzer Division near Solano. The American defenses are close to breaking. One last push and we'll be on the beaches. The American combined armed forces are standing between us and wiping out the beachhead. Yeah, I guess it which means that they are going to be routed on the beach. Mission is simple. You annihilate the American defenders and break through. Wow. Okay. Right. No, no recon, no nothing. Just, just do it. They're probably really tired from having fought beforehand. Uh, one PG company, I think that's Panzer Grenadier Company, to uh, PGR, I think that's Panzer Grenadier Regiment, but to attach to them is, or are, two Panzer V platoon and Panzer V. Was there Panzer V? Is it Panthers? I'm not so sure. Uh, it's not Mark V, so I don't think it's Panther or anything like that. 120mm mortar FOO, so Ford Observer something. There are no further reinforcements. Okay. No reinforcements, which means I'll be alone here. And look at this tiny map. And here are the tanks. Uh, Alright, so we are going downward from the order. Swiping. We are yeah, basically coming down uh, or going up from northern side and crossing the street to this objective flag which is in a well let's see it's a wheat field okay i guess there's some wheat field near the beaches kind of strange but yeah so we need to enter this wheat field that is uh, enclosed by this wall of rock Right, so I don't think the tanks will be able to enter that area, but they can obviously go through here. It's all rocky though. Uh, rocky terrain means that our tanks can be broken down and there's a little house. I'm sure the Americans will be there. And rocky area starts right here. Okay. So tanks may have to go through this brush, which is not going to be pretty good for the mobility. And they're all rocks, walls. Okay, this is not good. How will they be able to cross? There are one opening, but aside from that, oh my goodness, this is a area tailor made for the American artillery or the anti tank gun to focus on the gaps in the walls to try to line the panzers up in a neat column and destroy it piecemeal there is a gap so what it means is that if i want to get out of here i think i put some tanks definitely here um if i want to get out of here there will be only one gap that I can you make use of is it really windy it's really windy look at that look at the tree swaying in the wind my goodness look at the detail wow yeah this is like this is so realistic. I mean, you know, the graphic itself is pretty bad, but compared to being Overlord, this is just crisis level stuff. Yeah, I'm very impressed. And I think I play the map with Dust Wind, Wind Dust or Desert Storm. That's the first episode of this LP. But now I get to face some windy conditions, so I don't know what to expect in terms of the trajectory, uh, how it's going to affect the trajectory of the shells. Okay, so let's set all this thing up. I'll definitely make sure to navigate 
and to prepare for us to navigate through the walls here. Yeah, like here, for example. Yeah, only, I think there's only one gap. I wonder if I can break the walls using the tanks. The shooting at it. I don't think it is possible. Okay, so to save us some time. You know, I think it's 35 turns. So I don't know whether I should be moving so quickly because this is tiny map and if there's nothing in between us and the objective, then I'll be able to go there in 10 turns. I'm sure there are a lot of Americans lying wait, obviously, so that's probably why it's gonna take 45 turns. If I'm in the brush, the tanks will be basically camouflaged for us and against us. So, which means that they'll not be able to see us and we're not able to see them. I don't know whether that's a good idea or not, but I move all the tanks here first. Uh, I think I'll be able to see some of the Americans at least if they're hiding in the road, that is. I've been using the realistic proportions just to see how large of a place we can sneak all these things into. And I think I leave at least some of the tanks. Um, I mean, it's difficult because if I put any tanks beyond the wall, then only gap that is available to cross this area is right here. Right here. So from here, nothing really much can be seen unless I go to higher ground, like here, for example. Um, yeah, here is a pretty good place actually. So I might be tempted to put some tanks here to provide coverage. And as a reserve force. And I think some of the infantry are on there as well. Yeah, as you can see here. Uh, the infantry should be able to... Deploy right away. And it needs a leader. Alright, where is the leader? This is the HQ unit, and it, if you can see, the infantry units have some of the soldiers injured and out of action. Yeah, this wind noise is pretty cool, but I think by turn 10, my eardrums might be affected. And I hear this windy sound for Probably all night after I go through this battle. Yeah, I just have to select the area where I can see the most. So, as you can see, this is the highest point right there. I move these guys then. Let's see how the line of sight shakes out. No, not really good. Not really good. Okay. I wonder what are, I wonder where the Americans will be waiting for us. I'm sure that the things are rather dire for the Americans. The situation is pretty bad, obviously. They might be here with their bazookas and the like. Now, it's an amphibious assault, so I don't think they could have brought many Shermans, but I think. You know, it's close to sea. I don't know exactly what sea it is. Mediterranean. So they'll be bringing a lot of air support and of course the artillery fire and the naval gunfire that's going to mangle us if you're not too careful. Yeah, okay. I don't want to put 
the artillery fire guy or a forward observer guy a bit too close to the front. They can press it by one. This is okay area. But it's blocked, so let's move him further. But here. Uh, he's able to cover everywhere here, but it's blocked. Um, okay. So the soldiers will be able to cross into this field, but they will be cut down pretty badly. So you can see they can go here as well. You can slink around. That's going to be rather interesting if I have to put it off. Kind of sneaking our way. And it's a good yeah, this is pretty good actually. This is decent. This is pretty decent. You can target here and here. Oh, okay, I see now. Yeah, yeah. This is a pretty decent area. Hmm, I wonder if splitting our troops will be a mistake. Once again, could be a mistake. I have a you know, real dearth of soldiers. Real lack of infantrymen. They're not full strength either. I mean, tanks will have to get through here, you know, to advance. There's no other way. And infantry, it'd be nice if infantry is there to support along with the tanks. Now these guys will be able to see right here, so to... So as to support these guys. And they did not really move at all from this position. They were just force things. Yeah, they can just see just a little bit of the wheat field here. Um, maybe better to stick together. Alright, so this is my preliminary plan going into this battle. Um, yeah, some changes from where I left off. I decided to put the infantry back together uh, because I think just splitting this um, kind of very small group of infantry platoons will have even less of an effect and it's going to be destroyed piecemeal if the Americans bring in the any heavy weapons. They have a really good chance of being routed, I think, separate from each other, so I put these two groups together. But I did separate the tanks a bit, um, because I, I just decided to put the three tanks in reserve. But on the other side of the wall here, so they'll be able to travel as quick as possible. Um, I put them right, right here, just to get the benefit of the terrain that they'll be hidden from direct view, as you can see. They can still see around the higher ground, but yeah, it's kind of a guesswork. And I think the Americans will have the deployment zone around, you know, around this wheat field, so they'll not be able to advance as quick toward these houses or any of the hiding places. And um, yeah, I think I have at least a few turns to readjust if needs be, uh, to travel onto the road and move to what is needed. Put the Lieutenant Polak here on the interesting uh, name Polak uh, for the German artillery officer. Here, I don't know whether he'll be seen. I think he'll be seen uh, if close enough, but but he'll be able to see at least the area of the high ground leading up to the objective. So only one objective flag for 35 turns. I guess 35 turns is considered a rather short mission. So yeah, I mean, let's go and see if I can make this work. Um, right. There might be Americans everywhere hiding in all these woods overlooking the area. As you can see, it's, I think, higher ground higher ground right here and actually I think it goes down 
into this forest. So this is the highest point. And the Americans reach here, they have a pretty good overview of the area. So we need to make sure that we at least enter the brush. Yeah, it's pretty rough. So we move. And followed by the tanks. They can't identify anything, so... They're moving through the brush or... Trying to use this road. This is open ground. But you know that there will be some Americans like hiding and ambushing us right here. Because that's where the tanks will travel the best. So the infantry will try to use this area to support the tanks. Perhaps on both sides. Okay. And while the artillery man is going to be on the lookout. hide okay so this is my first attempt to try to get out of this area or the open brush and onto the higher ground as you can see just a little bit of a palette a little bit of difference in color here indicating it's a high ground infantry will fan out three units here around six or seven onto the brush and now this is just going to be on the recon to watch out the flanks. But the tanks will all move and this is going to be rather critical because they'll be vulnerable. I checked the line of sight here and then they'll be able to see. No, not here, but from the opening they'll be able to see pretty clearly. Yeah, as you can see, the line of sight is sometimes unbroken in certain cases. Not this unit, but some other unit is able to better show you what I mean and where my concern comes from. You can see that in the open ground right here, they will be able to see right in the opening. So we'll be, able, we'll be fired upon pretty quickly. Yeah, that's for sure. It's a really good place for any anti tank gun and whatnot. So let's go and see what happens. Okay, here we go. All quiet. So far. We're moving pretty quickly. So turning and moving. I don't see anybody on the horizon. This guy has made it to the wheat field. Okay, nothing's firing from here. Still hiding. Okay. I hear some gunfire. No? Okay. For the most part, they have made their way, infantry. Tanks are on their way. So, so far, it is... So far, it is going rather well. And... These guys are waiting. They also move. If things are heating up, and this guy's hiding right now. And Americans will definitely see that we are traveling through here and we start shelling the place. Yeah, so let's move on to the next turn. We just started moving. Maybe I should move these guys too. Alright, so turn two. The tanks will follow the infantry as they move up. Let's try this stone wall, marking this wheat field, and try to support our tanks on both sides, both flanks. I'm debating whether I should be also moving these tanks too, but I will let them sit there for a while. 
Yeah, um, it's too quiet. Maybe because of the wind, I cannot hear anything. That could be one of the reasons. Um, yeah, let's let's do it. It's always like nervous times. Oh, okay. They start sneaking. I thought they were being hit by gunfire, but I gave them sneak order. These guys are moving pretty quick. So far, we have not faced any resistance. Now we can see what is going to happen here with our superior optics. So, so far, there's nothing. Oh, I hear some gunfire. Or oh, is it just background noise? Yeah, nothing's going on. Yeah, we've cleared the space here and then... Oh, now we hear something. Now we hear something. <laughs> what is this? What is this shooting from? We're in trouble. Being shot at. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, it is a uh, anti-tank gun. I need to identify where it was shot from, but I don't know where. Where did it shoot from? I'm not sure exactly where the shot was from, but I'm thinking that it's going to be around here um, from my acoustical analysis, just by using my ears alone. As you can see, you can hear the sound coming from rather close by the trees, like around here perhaps? I'm not so sure. It is still hidden though. We have not identified it. Is this cheating? It could be cheating. I'm able to see... Uh, I'm in trouble. I think one of my tanks will be destroyed if I do not move these guys out of the way. Yeah, I think so. Definitely. Um, as you can see, it's probably around here that where the shot was from but the question is why was why wasn't the shot why wasn't the gun shooting at this guy as it appeared into the gap and moved along maybe he was waiting for the right moment to destroy two of them because this guy has nowhere to run to so now I need to move this guy fast as possible into the brush but it might be too late yeah I don't know where it is though it's either from Yeah, it's around here, I think. Yeah, it's definitely right there. Can this guy see it? Yeah, they can see it also. They shouldn't really sneak them. They should try to go to contact and hide. And this guy as well. They can definitely see it. And I start warming up the artillery. You can see it right here, no side block, unfortunately. But they need to make do with what I think is happening and adjust to the situation. And this guy shouldn't move at all. Yeah, shouldn't move at all, but they should rotate just in case.
Yeah, I don't know. Mm. Okay, so uh, priority is to get these tanks out of the harmless way. Um, this guy gave an order to move fast. This guy trying to move into the brush as well, but in a hunt mode, so they'll be able to defend. This guy also has to move up. Yeah, so just a bit further up to see what is happening. This guy as well. And finally gave an order to move one of the tanks alongside the artillery targeted in the region where I think the American gun is located. So let's see what happens. Yeah, the tank might be lost though. Oh, uh, yeah, it's Sherman. It's a tank. Wow, great job. Great job, Sherman. No, great job, Panzer. Okay, so the one Sherman knocked out, folks. What a nice shot that was. And now my Panzers will... Oh no! What happened? Where did it get hit? Oh! Where did it get hit? Oh my goodness! Where? Oh! Done! Please shoot at it! Oh, it's knocked out! Wow, so quickly! Man, the Germans and their superior optics coming through for us. My goodness, no tank was lost in this turn. This is probably one of the best turns I ever had using the tanks. Can't believe my luck. Wow, look at this though. Wow. That is, that is superior optics. They missed and I did right away. My goodness. It must have to survive two shots from the American anti tank gun. amazing really I don't know how many tanks they brought but we are doing pretty well for ourselves now I think we were rather lucky now, not only one but two tanks could have been destroyed but we're able to survive although I think one tank is now shot we're not able to move so we need to bring in some more tanks in order to in order to bolster this area because I think that more tanks will be showing up and the area target, well I mean it's still 3 minutes left but I can adjust since I have found a uh, you know, gun here, I don't know what's going to happen maybe I should wait until some more adversary appears on the horizon so if we are about to order the artillery and the shells begin to fall, we will stop or adjust accordingly. Uh, this guy will try to move and this guy I think is able to... Yeah, he's safe, more or less. As if from around here. So he will look out over this side while some of these tanks will turn our way alongside the infantry shaken for some reason taking cover i think they are being shot at from somewhere we need to make sure that we know where the enemy is uh, there might be more shamans coming yeah but we dealt them some serious damage so turn four um these guys will stay and have a have a look over in this area since we expect more enemies to appear from here I think because it's open ground and definitely connect 
them to us without any obstacles in between. Although there are some rocky areas here. So we'll keep at least two tanks here as long as the artillery spotter remains in this area. While these two guys, I think, I don't know whether they have lost a gunner. I think there could well be a possibility since I'm not be able to actually give them a command to shoot. Which is unfortunate. But I'll wait and see what happens. We definitely can still use these machine guns. I'm bringing some uh, these two tanks in order to bring them close to the gap so they're able to see what is going on here. As the infantry move up further. Same as these guys. But I think these guys should sneak more or less because they are taking covers for some reasons. I want to see what is going on here. Whether they're being shot at or they're just simply shocked that the tank the tank has been attacked and anti tank gun uh, has shot this area with high explosive shell so it could be possible that they are just taking cover as a precaution all right let's see I'm sure that the Americans will receive more reinforcements because it's amphibious landing so they are keep putting resources and men into the area in order to bolster the beachhead and to expand it. That's probably what they're trying to do and they're keeping reinforcement. Okay, so these are knocked out. I don't really see anything on the horizon. That is sitting pretty. Okay, so they have made it into the brush and we didn't see anything in particular that is a miss. Yeah, I don't see anything on the midfield. Oh, they could be sneaking around with the bazookas. So this guy should have a watch and see what is going on on the left flank. And this guy is all without playing gun, which is... I don't know, I was really happy that we were able to do something about it. About the Sherman and the anti-tank gun. So now that they are without playing gun, the victory seems to be a bit hollow. Hopefully it's gonna come back, but I don't know, I'm not holding my breath on it. They're not shocked anymore, so they're come back to the rest state. Now these guys are getting a bit too far from the rest of the party, so I think the tanks should now try to keep abreast or at least keep them in view. Yeah, so nothing going on, nothing in particular going on. Let's check the right side. Yeah, two minutes to artillery strike, but. I may as well move it somewhere and keep the artillery warm but not actually firing. That's still another law in the battle. We'll see what we can do. Now, yeah, they can target now. Yeah, it's back to normal state. Thank goodness. They're able to target. It's good. Okay. What I decided was, after seeing the, seeing where the tanks are located and checking out its line of fire, that it's able to ably cover the infantry until they reach uh, the edge of the brush, it seems, because this is open ground that they'll be able to see, strangely enough. And yeah, the infantry is almost at the edge of this wheat field, so I mean, until they reach here, I think the tanks will just sit and look over the area to see whether there are any additional movements from the Americans. Obviously, I cannot see what is happening right here. And I'm sure that the Americans are bringing more reinforcements. That's probably where the balance of 
difficulty lies. So we'll see um, if they reach here and then there's nothing, we'll have to move because we need to keep things together, keep the forces together at least. But for now, I think um, this guy will move a bit closer and rotate. See what happens from here as well. We can see, like, yeah, a large swath of the area where the gun was around where the gun was. So, okay, so let's see, we can make further progress. And yeah, the wind definitely makes it very hard to see or hear. What is going on? You have to basically... Kind of strange, but it makes sense. You have to be closer to the ground to hear a lot more of what is going on. Including what the German soldiers are saying, because they... You know, they other commands and uh, sometimes expletives or something. Um, depending on what is happening on the ground. Yeah, don't get caught in this stone wall. I think I might expect an American artillery strike too. And it's going to be heavy. And yeah, the soldiers are. It's just too quiet. It's too quiet. Yeah. Now, here, this guy is advancing. I don't know about. This guy is not move, it seems. For turn 6, I am planning to move the infantry further up to the edge of the wheat field and to wait for the other groups of soldiers to come in or to join them. Now, these guys could advance a bit further up. The tanks will also move a bit while being supported and watched over by the tanks behind them. These two tanks and also this guy. And this... I don't know whether I should move these guys yet. They will still have a watch over around here and see if additional tanks appear to try to outflank us. Yeah, the German tanks are pretty accurate. They're not even better in units as well, they're all regular experience. 4 H's, so I guess it's more advanced form of Mark IVs we have seen in Africa. So let's see. Yeah, okay. So turn 6 and we are making a brief progress in this tiny map. I hear something. Oh, another tech. Can you shoot? Anybody can shoot? No, nope, nobody can shoot. Okay, now we are being hit. Yeah, uh oh. Yeah, the Sherman's are also making its way, and its bow is down, as you can see. This is an amazing place for them. Hold down everything. I don't know how they are able to shoot their machine guns though, from this position. Maybe there is some other unit right beside it or something. Okay, so we found a tank. I don't think we'll be able to shoot at it. Need to find out how to tackle this.
Okay, so turn seven. Um, we are in a bit of a trouble with the Sherman appearing right in front of our soldiers. But it gives us a good idea where, you know, the tank is in the little bit of dip in the terrain. So he's able to find himself a rather good, good position, hold down position to aim his turret and machine gun at our soldiers. So we are trying to sneak, sneak toward it because I found that if you um, I mean, you're able to target it right now from where we are but if we close a distance then you'll be just right up against a bit of a bit of a hill I think so as to get away from its line of sight or I might be just dreaming this whole thing up I'm not so sure um, yeah, I think we'll be pinned down, you know, in any case, right? So why not just try to close the distance and maybe throw some of these anti-tank grenades, you know, to disable it. Grenade bundle. They come prepared and they're Panzer Grenadier for nothing. So that's my thought. And also I'm reversing this tank. I don't know how it's going to work out, but reversing this tank to gain a bit of an upper ground here. I don't know whether this is actually upper terrain, higher altitude, but you know, I'm just targeting this guy. Make sure that as soon as this guy appears in this guy's line of sight, they start shooting. And these two guys are going to kind of line up and then try to push on ahead. This guy has to move also because this guy has pretty terrible line of sight. I mean, it's okay still, but yeah, it's okay. But I think, and this is a leader tank too. Um, maybe. I'm not so sure, but let's see what happens. Oh, okay, now it's safe to shoot right now. Do it. No, okay, so he missed. Uh, I shooting at the infantry now. Okay, he found infantry. This guy disappeared for some reason. That is ominous. Do have to shoot or not? No, he's not able to see. What is going on? Oh, this guy's definitely moving. Anybody? Anybody can target it? No? Nobody can target it? Okay, I don't know what is going on, but oh, okay, the infantry is being targeted. Um, is it a good idea that we show ourselves a bit too much in the context of these tanks now gathered around in this area, inviting the Americans to come through this side with their armor and overrunning this infantry in the process? I don't know whether it's a good idea to draw ourselves too much in this direction. Yeah, I guess they have to do, um, not so sure right now how the things will pan out. I think we'll have to see, but they didn't engage. Yeah, and then the Sherman decided not to shoot at all for some reason. Now this guy is being targeted, infantry. I think it's a machine gun in the forecastle. So this guy was deployed from the start because the infantry that is able to start in a defensive position has an option of digging a forecastle for himself. And he obviously did. And he's being shot at. Yeah. This guy is still alive. And you can identify it as an early M4 Sherman. 
maybe a leader tank. It's a really good position. You can see how below everything he is all around it. And these guys are not being tired at all. Perhaps because this is basically open ground. Maybe you can close the distance a bit. You might be able to see what is up going on around here a bit better. But for now, I was really lucky, I guess, that this guy was able to escape immediate attack from the tank. Right, where are we? Okay, still warming up the artillery. Two minutes, okay. Alright, so I can probably target around here. But we're not face the main force, it seems, so... We might have to delay our artillery strike by a few turns until we get better understanding of the situation. The tanks will have to advance a bit, um, but then let's see what the infantry can do here. The infantry will try to outflank the tank. I don't know whether it can see us. I think it can, but I don't know why it's not shooting at us. Or maybe it's trying to hide. I'm not so sure or whether they cannot see us because we're sneaking. And there's high winds, so as to cover most of the noises. And this guy is also sneaking, um, but these guys are moving to contact. They can probably move a bit more. And these tanks are trying to hunt in orderly fashion. Uh, staying together, and these guys will, this guy will arrive and then rotate in order to see what is going on here. There's more tanks threatening us. Yeah, it's unfortunate that the infantry is disconnected from the rest of the tanks support. This is not what I had intended. I don't know why this guy is not shooting. This is due to the brush. And we are sneaking. Are they like master stealth guys or... Doesn't seem like it. Oh now these guys are popping up once again and shooting from the foxhole. We are moving up. Not really seeing anything. This guy is taking position. Uh, getting really close. Wow, they're covering some good ground. Now these guys will just move up. You see, and they can concentrate their fire on whatever they come across, including this Sherman tank. Hopefully, it's able to see pretty soon, or if the infantry cannot take it out. He's able to do something about it. This guy has a grenade bundle, so is this guy, so I need to probably moving around here. What's this? Foxhole here, I don't know what foxhole this is for. Maybe there is an American guy here, so I need to be careful. Yeah, so tanks really have to move up. And once again, the artillery strike pending last one minute. For now, for now, the ninth turn, I gave the artillery spotter to hold for another 2 minutes, 3 minute delay here. Now if the Americans have deployed inside the Whitfield, this is where they should be all getting out. But they apparently didn't, they deployed some of the tanks, I think, near this open field. So I was thinking to, I mean, I didn't really know about it until last turn, but I put these tanks just in case that they, they elect to take advantage of this area. Maybe they're doing it right now in trucks or half tracks and what have you, spreading out of this area in order to outflank us or something, but hopefully the tanks will be able to find it out soon. Um, obviously they cannot do it by sound. 
Okay, so let's see if the infantry is able to... Seems to be moving. Yeah, this tank is moving. Is it getting out of the hole? It seems it's getting out of the hole. Oh, it's retreating. It's got cold feet. Okay, so still not found by any of these panzers though. I think it's soon it's going to be able to find out though. Yeah, found out, found out, both of them. Yeah, all of them. It's gone. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no, another tank. Oh, but he's able to see though. He's able to see all the tanks. My goodness, this tank made a terrible mistake. It's one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Why did he get out? He had a, such a good position. He got cold feet, I think, because of the infantry that disappeared out of its uh, line of sight. Just didn't know what to expect, so wanted to join up with the leader tank. But the Panzer IV is right there. I was trying to see whether I'd be able to see it as an advance, but this guy made it so easy. First shot missed, but he was overlooking this area. And the other tank has already seen the Panzer IV, but these guys were just hell-bent in destroying this. It was hit. Yeah, it was knocked out. Unfortunately, one of them knocked out. So, yeah, I did lose one tank. This tank was right there in the higher ground. Now it's being targeted by two tanks, I think. I think this guy should also target the tank here. It's higher target. And he's able to shoot while moving, as you can see. It's knocked out. Definitely knocked out, and this guy was able to ambush one of our guys from the side and knock one Panzer IV. But he's being targeted by multiple tanks, and I think there's another tank that is um, going to target it soon, hopefully. Yeah, the Shermans are actually using this area in order to ambush us. I think it's a good thing too, because the brush is able to camouflage them, at least until they shoot their first shot. You know, this guy fell victim to it, they're bailing out, but the Sherman's still shooting at this guy. Because I guess it is not sure that it has been knocked out yet. But we know for sure that this is knocked out. Um, because we are just able to bring in, bring the guns in mass against it. Now, I think I need to shoot at this guy as well, without question. And maximize our chances. You know, this guy's blocked, but just have a watch. I think three tanks will be enough to knock another Sherman tank out. That'd be nice. And what can we expect from these guys though? So, um, I think this guy will try to sneak still in this lower area. I think they're not too tired yet. In the last mission, um, some of the troops that were crossing, I think because they were tired from being shot at, they're also stressed out or something, that's why when they are under fire and pin and trying to sneak out of the area, they naturally get tired. But these guys are not tired at all after having traversed hundreds of meters on their belly. If they don't know exactly the tank has been knocked out, they're still trying to target this. The difference between knowing for sure that this tank has been destroyed so you can move on to the next target and you're not that sure whether the tank has been knocked out so you need to still concentrate on the target that you're shooting at although it's now these guys are bailing out so i think we can buy some time and then maximize our chances that way so far we don't really have any indication that there's any trouble foot here we need to destroy another tank here this guy will not move until we do that. 
Then we add another tank. Or just follow a bit behind these guys first and then see. Yeah, these guys are kind of pesky. But I think we'll be able to handle it. But this is how it looks like overhead. It's a pretty good chance that this is knocked out unless it reverses its course. And I think they are on the high area. They just came up the over the little bit of a hill here. That's why they were able to see us. And we can see it now. Hopefully it's gonna be destroyed soon. Please, please, please. Penetration. Oh, miss. Miss everything. Okay, what, what is happening? Please destroy one. Counter another penetration. See, we don't know whether this has been knocked out yet. But now it's knocked out because we know for sure that this is not moving at all. But probably knocked out from the first shot. And now we can concentrate on this guy. As we see. And being um, supported by our tanks, thankfully. You can see this Panzer Grenadier, this Foxhole. Yeah, it was a bit tense moment. I thought that there would be no problems. Foregone conclusion that we'd be able to destroy this, but it took a lot more hits than I thought that they would need. Yeah, right from the get-go. I mean, we're still targeting. Okay, so it did, it did change its uh, target right after. But after the first shot, I think it was not... Yeah, they're getting out. You can hear them saying, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, it was destroyed. Forwards. They sound really bored or something. They sound really sedated. Considering the fact that the MG has its sight on these guys. Maybe they're just tired. Okay, so we are able to finish another tank. And we keep moving up. Now it's turn 10, so I think... It does make sense to give us 35 plus turns because if they get more reinforcements, surely we'll have more tanks to fight. Um, there might be more tanks here, maybe trying to track us down in this direction. That's why I'm still keeping the tanks here for what it's worth. One minute left, so let's see what is going to happen. As we move these guys further up. 